Yeah, I think it's really cool seeing devs give devs awards here, and I think that's probably the coolest part of the show is everyone seems to really be stoked for each other. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 game development on the whole, whether it's AAA or indie or middleware or whatever, we're all part of a community. We're all part of a group of people who have decided to forego different careers, to forego, in some cases, all of our savings, to forego uh, opportunities at simpler things, to say something, to create something, to put something out there for players. Uh, and that, that does really build a kind of a tightness. And GDC is great for that, but the game development community as a whole, and for me, especially the independent community, uh, it's just a very special thing. It, it, it's defined my career. Absolutely, it's defined my studio, it's defined, I mean, the winners of these awards are going to change someone else's lives because somebody is going to play that game and think, damn it, like, I want to make that something like that. Let's talk about indie games some more since you're kind of, you're right there and you're, you're kind of sitting at this interesting section as the, as the host of the show, also attending the show and also a developer yourself. Uh, what I see going on right now is VR is exploding and the AAA guys are sitting on their hands. You know, can you talk about the risk reward for two guys hanging out in their apartment making something for VR that could sell two million units for sixty dollars a pop and how that could really change their life versus why you're not seeing an Activision take that same risk. Like, Can you ex explain how the entrepreneurial spirit is like really live and well right now at GDC? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the main reason why people specifically on the independent side are creating for VR is because they're excited by that platform. It's a new platform and we've Really, if you think about it, most of us have not really been alive for the invention of an actual new, you know, you have mobile, sure that's pretty different, touch is pretty different, handhelds or console generations, but in general VR is so far out there that it's exciting to create there, it's exciting to, to build something that's going to be played in such a different way. And I mean, I think if developers anywhere for any reason are, are thinking that they're going to sell two million copies, they're probably going to be disappointed. I think a lot of people are making these things because, gosh darn it, they love it. Gosh darn it, they're, they're super bloody interested in making these weird ass experiences. You know, like that's, that's why they're doing it. And I think that's why you're seeing so many independent developers do it because the, the risk is actually tiny because in the end you still make something bloody rad. Yeah, no, and I, I didn't mean that there was a profit motive behind it. I was, I was I really... You didn't. I know you didn't mean that, and that, I, I that's think, why it's so important for me, because I, I think that uh, there is, there's always that lure. There's always, I mean, we, we live in the world of survivorship bias, right? We see the talks and we talk to people. We idolize people whose games sell extremely well because they made something meaningful. Um, but I think they were all made for the right reasons. They are made to get something out there. They're made to show something to players that they've never seen. Yeah, and uh, you know, one thing I, I noticed with uh, a lot of these indie guys, it, they're just making something that didn't exist yesterday that they want to see, and that's something that I don't think the big guys are willing to take that risk on. Um, can, you, can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of innovation on either side. I think it's more palpable in the independent scene because that's how we need to. That's how we stand out. That's what's in our brains and because there are not a, a system of hundreds of people, uh, those ideas can be iterated upon extremely quickly. And those ideas are coming from a programmer, coming from a designer, coming from an artist. So in the end, I think, uh, I think there is tons of amazing innovation happening in the AAA space, but it's super, super big and super, super noticeable in the independent scene. Yeah, and uh, I know you were behind Below. Uh, what are you working on next? Do you got anything in the pipeline for us? Uh, below, Below, Below. Also play Below. And while you're at it, please purchase Below. Uh, we had, we're not talking about anything else. That's, that's all we got right now, and it's super exciting. And we're, we're also working on Don't Starve Shipwreck, the expansion for Don't Starve, uh, which is already out in early access, so you should check it out also. Okay, we're super excited about that. I know this guy loves Don't Starve. You should. You should love Don't Starve. <laughs>